Hey, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today we're going to take this cute little tank and we're going to turn it into this wonderful metallic shirt. Hey there guys, we have a super fun project that we are going to be doing today and we are starting with our deco foil duo transfer gel and aquamarine foil. Two great ingredients for a wonderful little project here. So we're starting with this cute little tank. So Ashley bought these cute little tanks. She bought this one for me saying it was a long version. Well, obviously you can see it's not very long, so there's no way I'm gonna wear this, but I'm still gonna make a super cute tank here. And this can either be for um, Ashley or Amber because it's not gonna fit me. So we're starting off with my favorite lately, foil adhesive for working on fabric. And I'm just going to dry off my brush because it was sitting in a tub of water there because I like to take the product out of the container and put it on a plate for easy application. I feel like I can just control this way better. So I'm gonna take out what I think I'm gonna need and just put the lid back on. I can always grab more if I need it. I'm gonna get my foil out of my way and we are just going to brush this on to the tank, okay? So anywhere that you want to transfer the foil, just brush it on. And there's a couple of things about the duo. So if I apply it heavier, thicker, I'm gonna have more transfer, okay? Where they're overlaid right here, you guys, I'm just gonna lift this up, put my hand underneath here and make sure I don't get it on the other side of the tank, I was kind of protecting that area. But any place that I put the Duo on a little thicker, a little heavier, it will transfer more in those areas. If I apply it kind of light and thin, I'll still get some transfer, but it'll be real subtle, okay, or more subtle. Um, so if you're looking for like 100% coverage and you want it really, really, uh, bright and shiny full transfer, then make sure you're doing areas like this one that's, um, I would say looks really super white, okay? Because this goes on white and it dries clear. So depending on what you're looking for in the transfer, okay, my shirt has a little wrinkle here. Let's try to straighten that out. You get to be the artist and design this on how you want it, okay? I'm just gonna kinda go for a little bit of a distressed look where I'm not trying to put on 100% um, coverage. I want some areas that are thicker and gonna create a stronger, more solid transfer and areas that are just gonna be a little thinner and be kind of a hit and miss so the black is also going to show. So you decide what look you want and apply the adhesive in that manner. I'm just using a regular artist brush to apply it and kind of being gentle with my application here. Now a couple things about the duo. It's duo for a couple of reasons is what we've discovered. Uh, you can transfer with and without heat with the Duo. So we have used this on hard crafts as well as our fabric, but mainly our fabric. So you can transfer this with and without heat, which is great. And also we have discovered with playing around that we can transfer when it's not all the way dry, okay? And what we found is the areas that are thicker and more solid transfer super well. So we don't wanna transfer when we're this wet, but I will apply this and maybe let it sit for 10, 15 minutes 
There'll still be some white areas when we get ready to transfer. A portion of it will start to have dried down. So you can wait till it completely dries and transfer or go for it when it's partly dry as well, okay? You're just gonna get a little bit different look and what I just basically found is like I said, the areas that aren't completely dry and they're a little bit more solid and wet, I'm getting a really, really great transfer in those. Now this is a ribbed knit, so as it is put on and worn, it's going to stretch and um, so will the foil with it, okay? So it's a really cool look. Talk about blinging up your wardrobe. You're having a lot of fun with this. Okay, so once you get to where you have almost everything covered, you can critique and decide if you want to add a little bit more adhesive here and there. Like I said, I'm going for a distressed look. I want some of the black showing and some of those areas that it is showing, basically still putting a little bit of adhesive over them. So I won't have much coverage, but a little bit of coverage. Uh, now, like I said, I want to let this sit for about probably 10, 15 minutes, just depending on how quickly it's drying down. But you can even see over here where it's starting to clear out, okay? Those are areas that are uh, tacked up and starting to dry. And where it's really, really white, okay? Those are the wet areas that I really want to let them sit for a little bit, okay? While I'm waiting for this to dry, just a little bit about the care of the shirt. You can wash this in the washing machine, cold water, delicate cycle, inside out is recommended. No dryer, okay? So make sure you line dry, but if you take care of it the way I've instructed, it, it will last quite a while. So um, you can have a beautiful blingy wardrobe for quite some time. So while we're waiting for this to dry, I'm just gonna push my shirt out of the way and we are gonna grab some of the foil. And I'm just going to measure out a piece that I think will go from top to bottom because this will almost do the entire width, okay? And then I'm just gonna cut a little extra piece to go down the side if needed, okay? And if we need more, we can always cut more off the roll. Again, this is the Aqua Marine foil, which I think is stunning, and I love it with black. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay, I'm back from the drying intermission here, and as you can see, most of it is starting to clear out. I just got a few heavier spots, but we're just gonna go for it, okay? Like I said, this product is pretty user-friendly and allows for some different applications. So, a little wet's okay, or you can wait for it to completely dry. We could just even grab like a stir stick and even just scrub with my hand, and some of it will start to transfer, okay? But we're gonna go for the iron trick here, and I'm gonna cover the whole shirt with the foil. This is just a regular household iron, guys, and I have it on medium heat. It's nice and warm. It's been warming up while we were on intermission. If you're not really sure how hot your iron gets, because I have discovered not all irons are equal. Some get a little bit hotter even on medium than others. You can put a piece of parchment paper and lay it completely over the foil and then iron. So that way you make sure you don't scorch anything, okay? Until you kind of get used to the heat that your iron is putting out and the whole process. So I'm gonna iron over all of the areas that I transferred the duo to, okay? Trying to get the straps here. And then I added this extra piece on the edge 
so that I could get that as well. And I try not to leave the iron just sitting any place. I kind of keep it moving at all times. Oops, got a little flipped over there. It's okay. Because um, I just don't want anything to get scorched. And then just make sure that you've got some pretty good pressure so that you are making sure it's ironing. You can see the rib of the whole design, okay? And the whole shirt is really cool. I'm also not on an ironing board. I'm on a nice hard wooden table, which is giving me the ability to also put some extra pressure on. Now, you want to let this cool off. Foils are a cool release, meaning we don't want to just iron and just rip them off when they're hot. You can have failure. So you can put your hands in here and kind of let the heat out, okay? So it starts to cool down a little bit, but just kind of let it cool on its own other than maybe a little bit of fanning and trying to let the heat release out of the inside of the shirt. Don't try to cool it off fast by putting it in a refrigerator or a freezer. There can be failure with that as well. You know, we know this because our customers have told us all these fun things that they have done. So just kind of let it cool off, but you do want to make sure that the foils have cooled before you're releasing them, okay? Okay. And now we're going to start to do what I call the peel and reveal baby. Okay, this is one of my absolute favorite things to do is to peel off the foil. Oh my gosh. Do you see how incredible this is looking? Okay. So we definitely have some areas where the foil hasn't completely transferred. And like I said, there's a couple of ways to get this to transfer. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the foil. And areas that were a little bit wetter are going to feel like they're sticking more. So kind of just shake the foil as you're releasing it. Don't just rip it off, okay, in case it's really wanting to stick somewhere. And then I'm just going to peel everything off to start with. And I'm going to show you guys a few more little tricks, but how awesome is this? Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. That is just stunning. What a fun, wild shirt. Okay, so I'm going to do some critiquing here. I'm going to grab like my little extra sheet and areas where it just didn't transfer some places, I'm just going to rub with either my fingernail, my fingernails seem to work sometimes the best, okay? And pull away, and then we're gonna find that we're gonna get some more transfer in these areas, okay? Ooh, look at that. So just keep finding, and actually I'm gonna grab, let's use this extra piece, okay? From the top of the shirt, we've got, a nice big piece here that nothing transferred off of, okay? And I'm just going vertical in the direction of the rib knit and just scrubbing in the places where I know there wasn't a ton of transfer and just trying to add a little bit more. Or you can just go for the distressed look. I mean, you guys get to be the artist with this whole project and determine how much coverage you want, how little, how, you know, if you want to try to get this full coverage or doing something distressed as I am. But like I was saying, the duo is definitely duo, okay? It will and will not transfer uh, with heat. So this is where you can come back and like I said, scrub. Like it's hard to get the iron up in those pointed areas. So just scrub for a little bit more release. The other thing too, is if you determine at this point that you would want a little bit more coverage, you guys can put more of the duo back on, okay? Let it dry for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and foil again. Now, if you go for that method, you wanna make sure you're using some parchment paper, okay? Because you do not want to iron over any of these areas that have already been foiled directly, okay, with the iron. So you want to make sure that 
the entire surface is covered either with a fresh piece of foil or cover with parchment paper and just protect. Okay, I'm just gonna play a little bit more here. Um, we've talked about the care of this shirt, okay? So make sure you're washing it delicate inside out for it to, long, to last the longest, okay? No dryer at all. Foil can come off in the dryer if, if you do that, okay? So I feel like I just want a little bit more in that area. And then I think maybe I'll stop. I don't know. It's hard to stop, guys. It's really, really hard to stop. Okay. I'm going to turn this around. Y'all check it out. Isn't that super, super cute? Thrilled with this. We'll have one of the younger girls, Ashley or Amber, model it and show you how adorable this came out. So you'll find a list and links of all the products used in the description below. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for joining us.